Hey folks, it is Jeremy with Jeremy's Golf Pass Forks. We are here at the Sarasota, or just, uh, down here in Sarasota at the Suncoast Renaissance Festival. Uh, I'm going to make a um, pulled sim goblet for you out of our mini dragon. I am not sure how well this is going to work. This is a, a very small furnace and I am doing this piece solo. Um, so we're going to give it our best and we're going to see what we get out of this. So I've got my pipe preheating here. The pipe warmer on the Mini Dragon works pretty well uh, for regular pipes and punnies. It struggles a little bit with my counterweighted pipes, and I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to go into the furnace and wind up my first little bit of glass here. I probably have about five pounds of glass left in the furnace. I'm using recycled glass today, so on top of uh, everything being a little bit seedy because it is a Mini Dragon, uh, it's also slightly blue because it has been uh, a lot of different okay. colors mixed together. So I'm gonna use my blue mix frit on this. Um, folks, if you need any help, have no. If you need any help, let me know. Browse, pick things up. We are uh, doing a little video for our Facebook followers, but at the same time, we're here for you. So uh, by all means, pick up anything you'd like to see closer. Let me know if you do have any questions. Indeed. I'm going to melt this glass in. Uh, these chips do not fully melt just by getting stuck on, uh, but they do fuse. We're going to melt them in here in the furnace. So it takes just a little bit of time to melt these colors in. Smooth these out, shaping the glass up on the marble. I'm going to add some air to the pipe by blowing into the glass. By blowing into the pipe, trapping the air inside with my thumb, uh, the pressure is going to build up. It has to go somewhere. Uh, my thumb's not going to move. But that glass sure does. It gets pushed out of the way, giving us a bubble at the end of the stick. Now, this is a round. I like a longer shape, so I'm going to give this a swing to stretch it out. There we are. I'm going to let this cool down. I'll go back into the furnace to get some more glass on top. Apparently my speaker fell over, so I'm going to fix that. But hopefully without creating a bunch of feedback. So as this cools down, the real color will come through. It's got an <laughs> undertone of blue, uh, and then several shades of blue on top of that. I'm going to go back in the furnace now and get more glass on top, and start shaping this up. Now, there's lots of different ways you can shape up your second gather. Uh, normally, I would use wet newspaper, but I don't have any wet newspaper. So instead, I am going to use a wooden shaping block, which is the traditional, the traditional way to do this. I'm going to shape this up. This is a German block. It's round, as opposed to a Swedish or Italian block, which would be bell or egg shaped. Now I'm going to cool the tip of this down and get this ready to inflate. Before I can cool the tip down, I've got to reheat the whole thing. I've added a hose so I can blow into the glass and shape the tools at the same time. Right now they're kind of furloughed because most of the restaurants are making this with our clients. Now that I've cooled down that tip, I'm going to start deflating what will be the cup of our wine glass while stretching out the stem. Your 
Now, because the mini dragon is so small, I'm not going to pull out a really long stem. So, go back in. Heat this up. Just pull that just a little bit more. I do want to stretch it a little longer, but I'm not going to pull it out completely. Day, folks. Oh, stretch this out. Being careful not to pull the bubble of our glass down into the stem. All right, we're gonna make a foot for the wine glass now. I could pull that stem out longer, but this is such a short piece of equipment uh, in the Mini Dragon that I'm not going to risk doing that. So. I'm gonna heat up two more pipes. One is just a gathering rod, which rests just fine on the pipe rack. Another is gonna be a step down punny, which because my punnies are counterweighted, it's gonna to wanna to tip if I don't stick it really far in there, but that will be just fine. I'm gonna take a flash of heat on the cup so it doesn't get too cold. And then I'll hang this up on our pipe rack uh -huh. to wait for the foot of the wine glass. That's what this gathering rod is for. You can use this rod to scoop up some more glass. You can need just a little bit more than that. Not a lot more. All right. Now I've found that when working with these small pulled stem glasses, I need something to sort of compress the foot when I'm working alone. So I use the bottom of one of my molds for that. I'm gonna strip this glass off the pipe. And make it as round as we can with the mold. Fuse these two bits together. There we are. And now, I'm gonna reheat this and shape that foot up. Because while it's fused together, it's not flat and it's not centered perfectly. So we're gonna take a moment just to clean that up. remove this cup from the pipe and work on the other end. For that we need a punty and that's when that's this pipe heating up right here. I'm going to gather some glass on the end. I'm going to shape that glass into a dome about a sixteenth of an inch off the end of the pipe. Good day, my lady. Now I prefer making punnies quick and in one heat. Some people prefer to uh, reheat them before attaching them, but I like to do them in one heat. Cool the tip down, down just a little bit here. And then fuse these two bits of glass together. And if I can reach across far enough, dry, grab a little bit of water to drop there. A gentle tap, and it pops right off. Now my reach across, that got a little off center. We're gonna fix that in a moment. First, I'm gonna reheat the whole thing. Hopefully it didn't get too cold during that transfer because if it did, it's gonna shatter. Well, I thought it got off center uh, in that transfer, but it didn't. So it's still nice and centered. So now all I have to do is check that the opening is, is clean in the break. If it is, then I can just flare it open. If not, then I'll trim it. Uh, I'll know that once I sit down. This reheat here doesn't take very long. The thicker the glass, the longer it takes. Different colors take different amounts of time. Even things like humidity and barometric pressure will play a role. Uh, there's no way to set a timer. It's just something you feel when you're ready.
closing down the furnace door keeps a little bit of heat in there. So I got the top nice and hot. I'm gonna find out now how clean that is. Good day, lady. At its break off. It could use a little trimming, so we're gonna pull that out with the tweezers and then cut it away with our duck bills. There was a hurricane here last week, so uh, the ground is very wet. I don't have to worry about that glass setting the grass on fire. It might smolder a little bit, but that's as bad as it'll get. So I'm going to melt away that cut edge. I'm going to get the cup nice and hot, and I'll be able to stretch this open on this heat. Stretching the cup open with the blades of the jacks. Good day, my lord. I would like to have somebody on the lip of this with a paddle, but when you're working alone, you have to sacrifice certain uh, certain steps. So, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's not the most beautiful gobble I've ever made, but it's pretty nice working out of such small equipment. What do you think, folks? You like it? Yeah. Woo! All right. Uh, we're going to remove this from the stick using a very specialized tool imported from Italy. Very specialized. <laughs> Finding just the right butter knife is actually tricky. Uh, for me, I like to have a real thin blade and a nice heavy handle. It allows the piece to pop right off. Now at the end here, if I leave that piece out in the open air, the different sections and thicknesses are going to cool and shrink at different rates. The piece would literally rip itself apart while cooling. To stop that from happening, we're going to put it into a 925 degree oven overnight. Uh, that oven is called an annealer. And everything I've made today is inside there right now, uh, stabilizing in temperature. When I'm all done working, I start a 14-hour cooling process to bring it down to room temperature. Uh, everything in our shop here is made that same way. It goes through the same cooling process. It's all for sale. We've made everything you see here. Let me know if you do have any questions. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching our little show. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at the festival. Thank you very much.